Okay, now, about uh, a couple of years ago, actually, Mike made me a Game Master. This is the series on CB antennas I want to do. A Game Master is um, effectively a 5.8. It's got a really interesting matching section. He made me one out of wire. It's got a coil at the base and a coax stub about a metre off the, the base, about three and a bit feet. I can't remember all the dimensions, and that's not the point. You can buy that as a commercial thing, Game Master, you know, the fiberglass pole, but that's all it is, okay? So he made me that put it in a plastic bag and I strapped it to a 12.4 meter pole and we've got that in the field. Okay, and then I've got a switch here. The signature 12.4 is on switch number three and on switch number four it says exp, but that is the Game Master. Now what I wanted to do is run an experiment on how good a CB antenna would be, uh, you know, elevated off the air on 10 meters, 12 meters and 15 meters and then 20 meters. Just because we can hit the ATU button, does it make it any good? Now, you can see that my waterfall here is quite busy in terms of a lot of noise. That's because the Game Master is a lot higher off the ground. The feed point is at about six meters, so 20 something feet. So it's fairly high off the ground. You'll see the noise level will change when I go to the ground mounted vertical. So it's, uh, I think a three quarter weight, nearly five eighths, but on the ground. I would expect, something six meters off the ground for the 10 meter band um, would be, you know, over half a wavelength. And incidentally on 40 meters, you would have to get that up to nearly a hundred feet, 20, 25 feet off, uh, 25 meters off the ground. I would expect the Game Master to be a couple of S points better. But let's find a station on the signature 12.4 and we'll swap between the two. Uh, there was a guy just up here moments ago. Oh, there's one there. Game Master. Oh, I think you saw a couple of S points. He'll come back. He said, you just said QR, I said, wait for him to talk again. So between the two antennas, he is um, about two S points. And I would expect that. SWR on both these bands are... Um, on the signature 12, I'm gonna press a little button here, I'll just come off his frequency, about 1.3 to one. And on the Game Master, he, he's kind of one to one. Let's go to the 12 meter band now, and we'll just repeat that as an experiment. We'll come back to 12.4, wait till we get to 20 though, because that'll be interesting. Let me find a, let me find somebody. He's talking now, isn't he? SWR, by the way, is negligible. Same on the Game Master, negligible SWR. 12 meters. Singing to 12.4, ground mounted three quarter wave. And now that's the game master. Again, you can see a couple of S points. Did you see that? S5 to next time he talks, I think you'll find he's S7. Bearing in mind, might be some QSB. The noisy one's the Game Master. Yeah, there's more signal, uh, there's more noise. So the, the ground mounted, uh, I don't know, got a nice feeling there. Uh, I'll just go to 21 um, uh, uh, megahertz. Let's just make sure there's nothing here, roughly. What's the SWR there? Negligible on the 12.4. And now we'll go to the Game Master and the SWR's crept up. It's also quieter. Signature, Game Master. Let's find a signal. A real signal. There's a go. Oh, the contest going on. So he is, uh, what's his S reading? S four and a half, and the game master S three and a half. In fact. He's not anything. I've just had the RF gain up. And then that's with the um, the signature. So now the SWR's gone up and we've not tuned. Um, the Game Master's lost out. If we just come off his frequency, I can hit this button. So that's tuned now, but it's made no difference to his. Uh,
Still, still nothing. Uh, S zero with the game master, and then twelve point four is come right up. We're not trying to listen to these people. We're just getting an idea on the um, on a signal report. So, what about the twenty meter band? Because this is quite interesting. Um, we'll just get a baseline. So, I've got negligible SWR here. And uh, on the Game Master, uh, I don't know, it's, it's very, very high. You know, probably 10 to 1, something like that. I mean, I could put the meter on it. That's not the point. We can hit the tune button and force the radio to ignore all that mismatch. The mismatch still exists. Of course it does. So let's find a signal on the 12.4, reasonably loud. And we'll go to the Game Master. Uh, he's, he's not there. Back to the 12. And that's the Game Master. So just because your antenna tunes on the 20 meter band or the 40 meter band, is it any good? Because if you've got a nice tuned proper antenna, I mean, even a, a blooming vehicle mounted antenna would have worked better than the Game Master up high like that. Anyway. So if you want me to do more odds and ends and final games with CB antennas, because I like a CB antenna for the 10 meter band, because they're bulk produced, which means they're cheap as chips and they work very well, particularly if you can get it up, you know, 10 meter, 30 foot, you know, on the eaves, on a T and K bracket, you know, on the side of your house. I think they work absolutely fantastic. And it would be my preference, you know, if I had a big installation, I think, oh, need a CB antenna for the 10 and 12 meter band. Particularly Game Master. I'm gradually coming around the idea either Game Master or an Antron 99. There's an IMAX 2000. I've got one of them. Did very well with that as well. By the way, I think there's only one dB in all of it. But if you want me to do a test, we'd have to get hold of some and put it at the same height and switch between them and do some analysis. So I think we'll do, I mean, we'll do all the ham radio videos and everything else. But I'm fascinated about... Um, helping people understand more about these CB antennas. So I think that would be, uh, that'd be a good one. In the meantime, all the best. I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye for now. Right, take, put all this back to normal. Yeah.